Hey guys, Vanny Extreme Auto Caravan Camping. Super quick one today. So, a bit time poor. So sorry for the lack of detail here, but this is on a Roadstar. Now, what we are running here is two Victron 50 amp solar controllers. We are running the Multi Plus 12 3000 120 amp inverter charger here. So in line with all the new standards that are coming in, you're going to see more of the installations like this. So there's a PV isolator. Now we fuse on the roof as well. So each string has a fuse, but now you are going to see a PV isolator at the source here. So it's a quick disconnect in other words. Um, oh yeah, it's a moth, cool. So 40 amp DC to DC charger that is programmed to 50 amps because this uh, gentleman has a Land Cruiser which has a um, alternator able to support this. So we are pumping in 50 amps from his vehicle as well as the solar. So this is a combined charge setup, guys. 1140 watts. So three 200 watt Exotronics are being pumped into this one and three 180 watt Exotronics are being pumped into this one. Now, yeah, batteries. So here's the standard. So this is as per Enerdrive spec, which I love. It's a great idea. I think it's it's, it's a perfect solution. So we have a sealed lid here. Um, this is, old mates put this down to, you know, stop his cushions from slipping around. So this is a fully sealed enclosure now. So once we screw this down um, and we seal it in place, it is only going to be able to remove from a, from a service point of view or a disconnect point of view. And I'll show you inside ah, so you can see what's going on. So there's your batteries right there. All right, so the, this will all be sealed off completely. We haven't quite finished yet, but yeah. So we'll division off. Division off and seal it all in place and we might separate it so we can have access here. So we've got the LMI busmans down there, we've got the master busman there, and then we've got your battery isolation right there, all labeled ready to see, nice and easy. All right, so that's it there. Whoa, very simple yet effective. You know, 95 mil cable, heavy duty cable. It's only a short run between there and there. There's the smart shunt over right in that corner, nice and neat easily labeled now this is all factory this board and this board that that's all factory and you know had the old inner drive systems had a mains charger uh, had a had the older i think the smaller dc to dc charger that's its issue so, so, so none of this has changed okay and that cut in was the green air conditioner we're running off grid at the moment yeah, it's about 11 o'clock got this running on it was a rattly thing isn't it 23 11 o'clock in the morning or something so there's our solar production what are we? Yes, 11.49 at the moment. We're in a caravan park. It is a sunny day. So with 11.40 watts of solar, that's the number we're getting at the moment. Now, it is a really hot day. It's 35 here. So that's the derating that you'll notice. Now, this will probably rise a little bit more uh, within the next hour or two, which we'll call the peak peak time, but I don't see it getting much over 1,000. Um, you know, they are flat mounted, and, and this is reality. This is free camping. That's running, we've, we've had this running now for three hours. And when I arrived here, this was on 84%. So it has only used, you know, eight odd percent in a few hours. That's bloody amazing running this grid off grid. As well as the compressor fridge, as well as all the lights, I've, I haven't turned anything off. You know, we've got Foxtel on this. So we've done the Sat King Pro Max on the roof. So we've got Foxtel and Vast. So uh, there's also a hard drive, which we've done up, up here for the gentleman. So we've got a hard drive here. Right, that's this puppy here. The big, however big the hard drive is. There's your vast box for all your free to air. You know your nines, your tens, your um, your goes and all that. And there's this box. There's the IQ5, 12 volt, very small. You can see how small it is. So there are three HDMI sources here that are running all into this TV, which has two sources. So what we've done for the gentleman is um, we put the splitter on the back for him, and he has a source switch. So if I click this, he's able to switch between vast and his hard drive, which I'll do real quick. So you press that little button and then that'll go to his hard drive if it's on or his Blu-ray thing. So there we go. And it's as simple as this, you know, you reach over and once you know where it is, press press it and it goes back to vast. Obviously, if you want to switch between those sources, it's a matter of source and then go down to Foxtel, which is on that one. It's labeled what it is. And then, yeah, there's there's your Fox, home Foxtel, ready to go. There's all your Fox stations. It's, it's, all, it's all here, ready to go. Cool bananas. So, you know, Sat King Pro Max for the satellite system on this. So, so this this is not on the internet. So, um, all of the the complete system runs through the Sat King Pro Max uh, satellite system, which is on and active as we speak. How cool is that? 
Yeah, you know, it's nice and neat. And and this gentleman, all he has to do is just basically remove his because he removes his TV, so he just unplugs those two HDMIs, and away he goes. It's it's very simple. So absolutely perfect. I'll show you the solar. Um, I might get the ladder out and I'll take you up and show you what's going on with that. But yeah, you know, yeah. Look at all the venting. Big vents. Try and keep this area nice and cool. External vent out there as well. You can see the light through it. So it's, it's going to be drawing in a fair amount of um, cool air there to keep this thing going. But eight kilowatt hours, guys. So 620 amp hours of lithium under there. So 620 amp hours of power pole scouts. And all the Victron fruit on this. It's an absolute beast. We had this uh, vehicle running and we were getting 48 amps out of this. 48.5 to be exact. As well as the solar. So we were seeing some really good numbers. Very happy with that. Swift hot water service on this one. Um, old mate has the option to run his electric element if he wishes from the system, and he has full control over that. Done a couple of Ruby tags from as well, so he's able to see the temperature from the fridge and the freezer, all there. Beautiful. All right, let's go check out this solar. All right, come with me up the ladder. I'll show you the array. It's just, just a beautiful looking roof. So there are three. 200 watt modules and there's the three 180s and there's the second chromax right at the back right in the middle so even when that's up yeah you can see there's no shading issues absolutely perfect it's what you want to see see i mean we could have squeezed probably another you know you get another 100 watt another 100 and another 100 no dish so maybe another 200 watts would be a maximum on this one but this is um this is how it's done Thanks for watching guys, just a quick one. Just use my phone, sorry about the uh, quality, but there it is. So eight kilowatt hours, got 600 amp hours of PowerPool custom-made lithium batteries. All the Victron stuff, we've got the 50 amp solar controllers, there are two of. So a 600 watt string on the right hand side here, and another what, 540 watts over here, so three 180s. And a drive 50 amp, these well, 40 plus DC to DC charger, programmed at 50 amps. And we've got the 200 series Land Cruiser, so we're able to squeeze every inch of power out of it. Very thick cabling throughout the whole setup. We've got the Sat King Pro Max on here because old mate's got Foxtel. We've got the Vast Box and a hard drive box. It's a very awesome setup. We've got the Touch 50 up here. We've got the Servo GX. We've got the Smart Shunt. You guys have seen all the videos. Scroll through if you haven't. Like and subscribe. We'll keep the videos coming. Just a quick one. So thanks heaps for watching. Enjoy.